Welcome, Gemini, to your March love reading. Hope everybody is doing well. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot, and feel free to subscribe. Uh, so we are going to look into your situation. Uh, we are going to use the untold messages of the heart to better to get a better idea about uh, what this person has to say to you and how they're feeling, and then we'll clarify and then pull some more cards um, out in the end of the reading. Okay, so let's jump right in. Uh, Gemini and see what is coming in for you for love we have the ten of wands in reverse we have Taurus Virgo Capricorn coming into the reading and the page of rings wow bottom of the deck is the eight of swords the Queen of Wands and the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups. Wow, this is really uh, beautiful here. Keep in mind, this reading may not resonate with every single one of you, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, Justice, Ooh. Queen of Wands, Judgment, Lovers, two of wands three of wands six of cups death four of swords three of cups page of wands ten of wands okay okay so gemini it's very clear that someone from the past is very hard to move on from okay and i feel like this person be feeling that it's very hard to move on from you too and the reason why I'm saying that is because someone is coming out of their mind, coming out of their head, uh, any type of thinking or feeling self-entrapment. I feel like it's now um, coming to some type of realization on how they feel about you here with the Queen of Wands. They are very attracted to you. They care about you. They look at you as very inspiring. So there's a lot of chemistry within this connection. I know you are an air sign, but you could they could be looking at you more as the Queen of Wands energy um that you could be carrying or you could have fire in your chart the six of cups is showing in reverse so not yet letting go of the past not wanting to put you in the past even though you could be single here maybe with the nine of pentacles uh feeling whole within yourself more independent i feel like this has to do with love okay maybe taking things to a higher level of commitment because the ace of cups is in the challenge which is all about romantic partnerships soulmates friendships connections a new found of emotions here and i feel like there's a lot lack within emotions like the love um, if there's going to be anything that is going to go further uh, within this connection there is uh, some truth coming in before someone decides to walk away I feel like they have not emotionally uh, detached from you because there's some unresolved issues there's a conversation that needs to be made or some type of compromise before this comes to an end um, because somebody's definitely wanting to move forward someone's wanting to come in send you a message and they're coming in pretty uh, you could be dealing with an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn or this could be an energy that is coming in like more serious as they're determined they want to message you they want to try to compromise in a way okay um and i feel like how they're either viewing you is either emotionally walking away or they are waiting to i don't feel they're walking away yet um i feel like it has to do with it's going to be determined if how this conversation goes okay because how they're thinking of you once again is this queen of wands energy you inspire them they admire you they think you're very attractive you bring a lot of joy into their life as to why they having some type of awakening maybe due to some separation or time apart or a conversation that was had um, it got them to think about what they want right so i feel like they are coming into some type of awakening to move forward into what you don't see coming is the lovers now we have choices all over this reading we have in uh, you know the two of wands is all about making a choice um feeling at a crossroads feels like there's two paths here um and the lovers is all about choices like after either some a separation or something that is very unbalanced within the situation is this a, an energy that you want to move forward in or, or is this something you want to leave behind so the lovers is again a very strong energy it's about you know commitment uh, allowing yourself to fall in love it, it's a very big choice and i feel like it has to do with stability you know taking things possibly to the next level conversation about like the future all right let's see what is this eight of cups in your person's energy 
Yeah, see, they're heartbroken. They are feeling really sad over a possible ending or breakup sep uh, separation. There could be some self-doubt or this person is needing to have some type of realization, which I feel that they do because their actions towards you is coming in as having an awakening. So I feel like this is where it stems from is when they feel the hurt, okay? When they feel of the hurt of not having you in their life and it has them like awakened somehow. Let's see what this nine of, of pentacles. Yeah, you could be viewing this person. This could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces you're also dealing with. Um, very cold, maybe emotionally manipulative. Maybe you don't feel like this person is emotionally stable here. Some type of lack is what's causing a very big disconnect within this connection. Yeah, and it's leaving like you kind of feeling a little bit unbalanced um, with within this connection. Let's get this Ace of Cups. And there's some type of disharmony. Yeah, king and queen, both in reverse. So there's emotions here. Very sad, very upset. Um, I feel you guys are marrying each other when it comes to how you feel, like the heartbreak in the situation. Uh, so I, that's where I feel like the justice is coming out. There is some type of uh, re releasing of some type of the devil. This could be, you know, addictions or lies, betrayal, manipulation, or more letting go of the toxicity parts of the relationship before moving forward the devil says freedom release and restoring control so uh you could be setting some healthy boundaries within this situation here and we have justice which is all about fairness right um karmic truth um, truthful conversation seven of swords is coming in with the ten of cups See, there's some type of deception or somebody not having the best intentions or wanting to talk about their intentions. It feels like there's a lot of hopes and dreams and a lot of happiness here and fulfillment at one point um, until someone did something, okay? Kind of showed you, uh, you know, kind of made you put your guard up, a little bit of suspicion here. Let's get this Queen of Wands. Yeah, they don't even know what to do. Everything feels like a pause for them right now. Yeah, and they're not wanting to let go until something is talked about, I feel. Okay, yeah, they're just procrastinating on this message, but they are determined to text you. Let's see the lovers. It's confused. Yeah, balance. Um, there could be a feeling of juggling two people or maybe just the situation is just a lot, but something is causing a lot of um, delays. So some, some of you guys could be moving forward and leaving home and going more into independence due to someone that you saw their true colors. I feel like this person really does care about you. Uh, they do have a lot of feelings, but you, you could be ending this cycle, freeing yourself from the devil that's what it's saying and restoring control in your life and moving either away from the six of cups and that's not all for all of you that just looks like it's an end of cycle and new beginnings and changes here because of the death card um, and it has to do with freeing something that was toxic something that could have consumed your mind um, something that felt like it was it kept something that kept you guys together again chemistry pleasure play however uh, something here and I feel like you're ending this and what it as you're ending this to end the devil it's kind of like you have to end it with this person in some way um, this deceit I feel is what is causing this disconnect and even though there are emotions but I feel like maybe you don't trust this person's words anymore um, we're gonna go ahead and see what this person says because it does show that you may be leaving this person in the outcome now tarot can change at any time but that just feels like the energy um here yeah see the message isn't coming in it's like it could be you know breadcrumbs not what you want to hear at this time um a lot of confusion so even though the person could be telling you their truth um it feels like it's not truthful still but i do feel like there's an energy that doesn't want to let you go and um but they feel a big pause and it does hurt them it hurts them to de emotionally disconnect from you so let's see mm. 
secrets. I hid something from you and I'm afraid to tell you about it. And that's exactly what the Seven of Swords is. So you're viewing this person as possibly emotionally manipulative here. I love the way you make me feel, but I can't give you the same in return. Selfish. And no. Let's get one more. So this person does keep feeling drawn to you, um, back to you, and they can't ex quite explain why. Um, but the moment I feel like this person either could feel trapped, because it does say clingy, feeling trapped pushes me away, please give me some space, but my heart is opening and I'm ready. And I feel like that was the problem all along. There, it could have been like, it, you lost your trust with them and um, maybe not looking at them the same way, but still it's hard to make a decision to end this. Um, but there's like a release of some toxicity, like something has to go and it has to be this devil, whatever this devil may be, this has to go uh, out of this relationship, right? Because that's what is ending here is the devil. You know, a very hard choice to make. We're gonna go ahead and grab the lovers of oracles to end the reading. So yeah, I feel like it, it it's up to you. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. And the past is now behind you. Release and embrace new possibilities. A new path is available to you. Follow it with faith and freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So this person, I feel this is the message, is that they do care for you, but you could be, you know what's best for you, right? You're in the situation. You know what's toxic. You know what you what is deceiving in the area uh, in this uh, situation. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless.